Alrighty, so we're gonna start with some Shrieks games here. Sent these in. Do you know who these are against? I don't. I know one of them is against Chicken Fingers. Okay. Um, so yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll find out. All right. Let's go. There we go. So we'll do a little bit of casting, a little bit of analysis here. We got Shrieks in the red, and Chink Chicken Fingers in the blue, like you said. Okay. Yeah. So this one, maybe they're all against Chicken Fingers. I have no idea, but. So it looks um, like this is a bit of a kind of an Usen style with the uh, squirrel, lots of structures into owl. It's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's a little bit weirdly specific. Um, it's definitely doable. Usen has made some really strong plays with it. But I think he missed seeing Chicken Finger there. Yeah. So he's going to miss this small rush unless he's really. Oh, he sells it. Okay, yeah, he's not okay. going to commit. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so Chicken Finger bringing kind of more of a regular. Uh, regular deck. Oh yeah, badger. This is very standard. Yeah. Yeah, this is like a very good badger deck in the current meta. Yeah, you kind of uh, you you might see the skunk swap that for cams at some point, but it really just depends on what you like. And also, can uh, the skunks go really well with pigeons as obviously well as badgers. So I yes. think this is a very very standard deck from Chicken Finger that is just very strong in this current patch. Yeah, and, and like you said, uh, you can swap the cams or you can swap cams in for skunks. And you can also swap the moles out for lizards or toads or an MG or something, you know, that, that's yeah, exactly. another flexible piece. But uh, besides that, it's pretty meta. Yep. Now, uh, Shriek's spamming some wire on the side. Yeah, it looks like he's a bit concerned about his flank. I would recommend less wire early on because that mm -hmm. much wire, it's a pretty big economic investment. But if you put, like, let me see if you can see my mouse. If you put, like, one wire here and one wire here, like two or three yeah, tops will already exactly. cover that flank, and it looks like there's a mole uh -oh. here. Yeah, he's not gonna see the mole. It's gonna probably gonna get this warren. He probably should wait for a second mole, but he probably will still get the warren. No, the Shrieks isn't noticing it though. He though he's he should be seeing that his warrens are getting attacked. Yeah. Only now is he noticing that he's gonna run home right now, and it might be a little late. The second mole is probably gonna get that warren. Yeah, probably a good time to burrow home and uh, I don't know maybe sell or something, but. I, I do want to point out a couple of things. First of all, when you've got high ground behind your base, you already have to be aware of the potential. And so even just, like I was saying with the wire, if you put a wire here and then exactly. one right there on the high ground, you get a little bit of vision, right? Yes, exactly. I think the perfect position would be the one that he has like in that one tile and then one on the high ground between those two tiles. Because yeah. they would cover the whole high ground. And the thing with low tier one numbers is they're just not very controllable, and so they're probably going to end up walking through the barbed wire. Yeah. And barbed wire is really, like, deadly against tier 1 units, so you really, you don't need this much barbed wire, because yep. it will kill the tier 1 anyway. Yep. Uh, and this is a little, a little thing. I see that he has another piece of wire on the left here. Um, a little bit to the left of your screen. There's another piece of wire, a single piece, that is not placed very well. Yeah, I, so I do th want to this... say as well, though, that a lot of times people don't run with wire, because it's not meta unit so i want to apply the advice to if you have um if you have mines in your deck you can put a mine on the high ground as well or even just one of those squirrel warrens could have been put up here on the high ground and it just gives you vision so you can see on your mini map when there's a proxy mole so just knowing that that high ground behind your base is like what the mole player is looking for that's the main the main thing i would say um, right. yeah okay yeah, but absolutely you're right about the wire placement uh, would have helped. This this wire is not doing a whole lot, um, etc. So uh, the other thing is just listening for the sound cues um, and watching your mini map a little bit better. That's kind of a general RTS thing. It, it's kind of hard yeah. to you, you know you're so used to that. you're used to looking at your main screen and not right, the yeah. mini map. But all right, so right there for example, I would have put that third uh squirrel warren up on the high ground actually just to have some vision but that's all right mm -hmm. so chicken actually going to go into some early pigeons and i know chicken i think might be watching this on stream i'm not really sure but oh, yeah, i think got... these pigeons are a little early chicken um they, they might they can help in some really like low tier on battles but generally more squirrels they're not going to do a whole lot yeah i would I, I mean they might do something but they're not going to do as much as three more squirrels are yeah exactly yeah more squirrels or moles would be better at this point the pigeons work better with higher tier units. I now I have seen pigeons work with moles sometimes because moles have slightly higher yeah. health pool, but even then, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So right. 
a little bit of a weird attack from Shriek's now gonna do a full surrender and lose a lot of tier one for that. I, I don't mind the uh, the angle there. The army wasn't in position he could have gotten a pig snipe, but yeah, chicken fingers has plenty of stuff, so. Uh, Shriek's moving out into the map with some MGs. I like this. I think this, I think this MG makes sense. He's, he kind of lost a lot of units there, and if Chicken decided to push in right now, he would be unable to stop it, and uh, yep. now he's going to be able to defend. But he needs to realize now that he has not scouted this base, I'm pretty sure, and so he needs to basically count Chicken's food, which is this is kind of advanced, but he needs to basically realize Chicken's not going to push in. He's got a tier 2 warrant down, and... Oh, he is going to okay. go in. Yeah, he's, I do want to... Oh, his army's out of position. Yeah, I do want to point out real quick with MGs. MGs are... Uh, sorry. MGs don't actually have a lot of health. Uh, they're not good tanks. They're very good at DPS. But it's a bit unfortunate that Shriek's army was not there. So what I would have done is leave the squirrels on the MGs and then scout with just your commander. Because Shriek's was obviously looking around for, like, flanks or something. Um, right. But generally speaking, you want to leave your army with the MGs, because otherwise they get picked off like this. Yeah. Um, despite, oh, nice. it, it... despite having plenty of decent stats, MGs just in practice are dps not tank right they really do not have that much health i don't know the exact stats in their health but if i mean if you have like four squirrels you can kill an mg yeah you, no. you need your army there to, to help them basically but if your army is there then they're they're very powerful at dpsing down the enemies tier one yes and now they're not frail like I, we've got uh Erlu in the chat you know saying they've got a bunch of health they're not frail and my opinion here is not exactly the consensus i just i've never seen them get a lot of value from tanking i always see them being dps or dying um they're not frail but they they do need support i think the biggest thing i'm noticing here from shrieks is his army positioning yeah um, it's, if you're really... gonna hold the high ground there you need your army with the mgs otherwise you may as well have the mgs further back like closer have wire to on the high grounds yeah yeah like an mg here maybe a wire there or just the mgs like a little lower um otherwise you just really keep your yeah. army with it i think this this position is honestly pretty good for shrieks not not anymore but if he if he had his units with those mgs for example i don't think that attack goes very well for chicken or he has to back out and if you don't want to put your MG so far forward, then having wire in a situation like this is really good. If you just space out your wire like two or three tiles and just put them all along the top of this high ground, it makes it very hard for Chicken to poke with his tier one units. Yeah, and now now Chicken has skunks and Oh, a very uh, nice pigeons. balloon though. Actually, look at that. That balloon is now hitting that skunk. Kills him. Oh, he's taps though. Yep, yep. No, I think uh, Chicken had Chicken had a good push there. He had skunks and pigeons, so even with that balloon helping out, um, it was a closer game than it probably felt like for Shrieks. So I think if he had left his army with the MGs um, and maybe not lost that initial warrant to them all, it would have it would have been better. Yep, I agree. All right, so all I'm right. gonna catch up in the chat here real quick. Uh, they have a respectable amount of health, but they're better at the DPS. It, part of the reason, guys, is you can't micro M, uh, MGs. Like, you can't move them around. Squirrels don't have a lot of health, but you can kind of pick a good engagement, get a good arc from them. Whereas MGs, once you place them, they're set. So it's easy for an enemy to isolate them and take them out. Um, exactly. So even though they have plenty of HP numbers-wise, in an actual situation, they die quickly. So Tatanka's got it here, where you let a, you let the MGs take a couple of hits, but then you've got to let your army tank for them beyond that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, really, if you if your army is just a little bit out of position and your opponent's really on top of their poking, if like if you have six lizards, you can run in and take an MG out very I mean surprisingly quickly, and then run out. And let me lose a lizard or something. Yep. Yep. All right. Into the second game here. Here we go. It is against Chicken Figure as well. Okay, so similar there from Shrieks. I like dropping the wire from all, actually. I think this gives a lot more flexibility. Yes. So yeah, Shrieks really needs to, uh, because the jack he's choosing, he really needs to make the defenses work and take control of the map just based on the specific deck he's playing. Mm -hmm. And really, this this deck is this map at least is very good for that exact thing. If he takes the second mill next to his base, he has control over these little high grounds next to his base. Mm -hmm. And I believe he also gets vision of that main high ground in the middle of the map, which allows for MGs and balloon walls. And once that is down for Shrieks, he has a very strong possibility of being able to get owls out, and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say that the specific style 
Um, one of the ways you can play it, the way that Usain kind of played it, is you get two bases up to full economy. You get all 16 farms and you use squirrels and defenses to survive. So squirrel, MG, balloon, whatever. You can use an arty as well. Um, and then once you've got 16 farms, you drop like three owls. And, yeah, then, and then with the three owls, you survive. can move out onto the map. So um, you can... So it's not quite the same as a pile style, although it can be played that way as well. There's a lot of there's a lot of options. Uh, chicken finger over here, slightly less meta, but a very standard deck as well. Yeah, he's still taking that skunk falcon, which is honestly it's the core of really meta decks these days. Not not not, not skunk falcon necessarily, cam falcon, um, as well, but you know that's kind of what you you see in these days. You yeah, one seen... one of the two, right? Exactly. Skunker cam. So he's dropping um, falcons. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> he's not. You would never drop falcons, though. He's dropping pigeons and moles for squizzard, and then some. Actually, he's bringing some defenses now, and as well as the owl. Yeah. So it's because the badger comes with pigeon. Um, the owl does not have to have pigeon, so he he's dropping the badger pigeon for owl, and then has a free deck slot for balloon. It's exactly. Kind of... The thing is, in in the very late game. Oh, nice catch from Shriek. Which he can is. Move out and, and oh get yes. Some free... Now he can actually get a lot of free lizards here. If he cuts him off, if he cuts off his escape. Oh. Yeah. Saw those lizards. It's not a mistake to let the lizards go, but it's definitely a lost opportunity. Um, yes, for sure. Could have moved out. Now you got to be careful with squirrels against lizards in an open field. Um, because he has so many more squirrels. It's true, but he might not have known that. Um, That's true, yeah. In equal numbers, lizards win in an open fight. Um, so he might have been able to count and see, wait a second, that's not that many lizards. I can at least get a couple of picks. I don't hate grabbing this campfire, although he does have to be careful because Chicken Finger could lizard harass it down here. Yeah, I think that with Shriek's pick on the defenses, I would really, I would drop Artie for mine, um, personally. I get it's better in the later, later, later game, but... He has no, like, very small, like, the last time he had wire, which would be great to defend that campfire up there. Uh, and because there's a, there's one little slot where those lizards can get around. Uh, I guess this MG would probably do the trick, though. Yeah, I think the MG is fine. It's, it's alright. Uh, it's a lot of money floated here for Shrieks. I think more MGs, more farms. Yeah, yeah I would put it, down a lot more farms. If you're floating food, you may as well be dropping it, uh, defenses and, and Oh, farms. nice attack here. I think he has enough to take out these lizards. He loses the commander. Gets some nice hits on those lizards, yeah. actually. Gets yeah, that's good. Like five lizards, I think. Good stuff. Now, this balloon is pretty pretty alone. There needs to be an MG right next to it uh, to help try to right. keep it alive. As it, it yeah, is... it, it's... You'll see the balloon is too far forward. It's right at the territory line, and so you can't defend it with really MGs in front of it or anything like that. And actually, you see how frail those units are. He's yep. going to kill both the balloon and the MG Completely without free. losing more than one or two lizards or something like that. Yep. And that's a lot of food to lose because now Chicken Finger Subs is going to take that food advantage and he's going to make it into more farms. Very okay. aggressive. There, I like already the here. Artie, but actually we, makes need sense. To have, we need to have an MG next to it and you need your squirrels up right next to it. You need squirrels you need to right on top of that. Squirrels need to be right on top of that. Uh, yeah, so now he, he sees it. Now he sees it. Now you're ra he's rallying the wrong way. Yeah, uh. yeah. So Shrieks, Shrieks, your number one mistake both of these games is your army cannot function independently of these defenses. Like, we're seeing defenses here and army here. We need to see defenses here and army with the defenses. Um, that's a fundamental mistake. So now, Chicken Finger Subs is going to just dive on top of this, already get a ton of value. Oh, yeah. And kill all the, the MGs. And the squirrels were doing nothing. Um, yes, they're, yeah, they're not even hitting anything. In theory, they're watching for a flank, but there's no flank. This isn't a tr traditional RTS where you can really do split attacks like that. And you needed that already to get up, so that was that was the number one mistake here. Uh, squirrels fighting in a choke here, but the, the story is you got to leave your army with your defenses, otherwise they're going to get picked for free. Yeah, exactly. And at this point, it's it's too late to come back because yeah. Chicken Finger Subs is so far ahead on economy from early oh, yeah. fights and he's that got the it tech. is the only possible way you could win is sell down a lot of tier one, throw down like a ton of MGs, and just hope Chicken Finger Subs throws the game. Okay, like get some nice picks here. on some lizards. That's an, that's a really nice pick. Yeah, yeah I... you see, Shrieks loses zero lizards. Or sorry, he loses zero squirrels for every single one of Chicken Finger Subs' lizards. 
I mean, yeah, that's the power I, I of Mass Quarrel. He needs to be careful about rallying. You only need to rally your, with your commander once, and then you can keep your commander alive. Um, right. Because with the commander dead, Chicken Finger might be able to get some skunk gas down and get some counter damage here. Yeah, actually, on the low ground here, gonna run away. Yeah, that's a really nice pickup, though, for Shrieks. Yep, that's good. Good stuff. Chicken Finger taking the rest of the map. He's got a base over here. He's got, you know, he's just trying to give himself options. Yeah. He's gonna take a nice pickup of the campfire. Yep. Chicken not even moving to defend it. That's fine. Which he is interesting. It. Yeah, he's he's getting up um, his falcons in the back. Yeah, Double he's falcon coming those. out now. So lizard attack. Shrieks now has an owl out. Or should, actually, Chicken Finger Sub should, should focus the farm here, the building farm. Yeah, Because I agree. he can get that in a few things. He's focusing the mill, I think. Or at least letting it hit the mill. And so, I think at this point, it's another Shrieks example will be able to of Shrieks scouting with his army. You want to leave your army behind when you scout. Um, for example, you leave your squirrels here, you scout this way. If they lizard flank, you kill the lizards. If you see your army over here, you can always bring your army to your commander. But you can never send your army away from your commander, so you must scout without your army. Um, leave your army in the key spots, like with the defenses or with the um, farms. And then scout with only your commander. It's a yeah. pretty fundamental thing in Tooth and Tail, I would say. So actually, I'm noticing this now. He's actually Strix is using the left click button instead of the right click button, and so he actually hadn't he didn't bring his owl to the front of the army until right now. Yeah, that's fine. I don't it's, hate it's it. It's okay. It's interesting. Uh, we do have a comment in the chat saying Chicken Figure should sell his lizards. I would say now is a good time to sell your lizards once you have a full like skunk falcon squirrel count. The the lizard start to drop off in value so uh, yeah so shrieks are now getting down a second owl this is really what he has to do to make this happen i think more economy would make sense because at this point the economy is too far gone to make a comeback uh, well owls chicken has farmed so much owl, that's true but chicken has farmed so much oh yeah yeah I, chicken fingers just... definitely got a super powerful composition here uh and, shrieks uh... again he's leaving his army kind of in the middle of his territory it, they need yeah, to, it's like the squirrels need to be here near the defenses right. near the pigs the owls should be here because your army is out of position to do anything and chicken finger is going to be able to kill at least a pig for free before the army even gets there so a lot of this is army positioning stuff and i think some better defense placements right where the fight's about to happen right now like a couple mgs here would really change how this fight might go down for shrieks this even is though he's at an army disadvantage this is pretty good yeah yeah this is even at an army disadvantage with a couple defenses you can really change how a fight was going to change you can change how the fight's gonna okay running some oh that's some excellent mice in yeah that's good yeah. throwing a mice wave out is generally a good idea and now we've got a pretty good engage now the fight for comes shrieks. in this is actually really good for shrieks he has a yeah. lot of tier one against chicken finger subs is He's targeting uh, Falcons, too, which is good. He does lose the Owl, but... Lose the Owl. A little bit of mismicro there, but... Yeah, considering he was down on army from that fight, he did a very good job, yeah. other than losing the Owl. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, right here, he's selling one Owl Warren is good. Um, if you're going to buy Squirrels, you might have to sell the other Owl Warren. But yes. although, overall, I think that was not bad. I would, sell it, I would sell down some of these defenses, these stationary MGs over here. Oh, yeah, just one of them. He maybe. wants to do it. Yeah, yeah there, we there we go. He sells one, and because he really needs to get that owl, it's still supply blocked, and there's no sense in having the owl warren if you're not going to pay for it. Actually, he's, look, there's a little Ooh, nice pre-floating falcon there. He's going to pick up that falcon for free. Yep. And it looks, it looks like, like subs. I don't think he can get that tier three warren, can he? I don't think that it's in range. Oh, he loses another falcon. Oh, he does. Oh, he, get he's he's, he's going to get the warren, not producing anything. Wow, that's a bit unfortunate. A little bit, yeah. But you know what? Here's the thing. He lost, what is it, 180 food for the Warren, and he killed yeah. two Falcons for free for that maneuver. So it is yeah. a loss, but it's not like the hugest loss in the world. No, and actually he's looking at a really nice wraparound here. I think if he gets the second base and yeah, completely is... eliminates it, he could be in a better position in this game. Oh, he doesn't commit. Oh, he's commit. not going to focus. He uh, does not commit, commit, no. Okay, that's fine. That's he he would have been able to DPS that down. But, it's yeah, a good idea. Just... It's a good idea. But uh... Subs is going to focus the base. I think he has enough DPS to do it. There goes the base. And, with and now scums. Subs can just walk away. And now Shrieks is not starving, but he has one campfire left. That's it, I think. Look at this balloon. Um, just the, the placement of some of these defenses are not where you need them. Yeah. But yeah, okay, here comes the fight. There's not really much you can do about this fight. Yep. Squirrels in the low ground. Skunks do beat Mass Squirrel, so yeah. easy. It's just, it's not really, it's not coming down to the, the play here from Shrieks in the end game. It's just the fact that 
Chicken finger subs has like three fully farmed phases. Um, which is just gonna end up being the end for Shriek's not enough economy to make a comeback. So I think the, the game really, the story of the game really is that arty that went down. So that's the main deal, I would say, is when you're building defenses, you need to leave your army there. Otherwise, they're, it's easy value for the, uh, the other player. Yep. All right, getting into game number three here. Shrieks spawning in the bottom left with Hopper. Oh, very and... nice. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dimo. Thank you. Yeah. No, you're good. Chicken spawning in the top with Bellified. And so, uh, Chicken switching up. Both of them switching up. Look at Shrieks' deck now. Oh, yes. AFK at the beginning. Love that. Classic strat. <laughs> um, okay. Much more standard looking deck here. Um, Skunk Cam. I mean, it, just seeing two tier one, tier two, tier two, a tier three, and a structure is, is pretty yeah, amazing is, stuff. Yeah, and this is a pretty, again, we're looking at sort of a, is it a more guy? closer yeah. to. There we go. Now it's now it's not AFK anymore. <laughs> so I don't know what that order of the Warrens were. Was it a four farm double into a six farm or something like that? Something like that. Yeah. It's it's weird because he was AFK, so it's hard to judge that. But, um, yeah. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I think he's okay. It's fine. Actually, the way that Chicken Figure does his warrants, he put down like a ton of mines. So Chicken, yeah, so Chicken, if you're watching this, you put down, you saw those two warrants from Shrieks, right? And you're, you're worried that he's going to push into you and take you out. You don't, you don't really need five mines. That's a hundred food, right? And you actually delayed your eighth farm to put down a ton of mines. And you'll notice that you put those mines in a position where it's not even a choke. There's a t there's a ton of open room to go around, and actually, the road is in a different spot, and so... Shrieks would probably not even pick that point to attack from. I, I um, do. Uh, I don't mind the idea of the mines there because you're not sure what your opponent is doing. He was floating a ton of food, and so Chicken could have been thinking, "Is there? Right. Is there warrants I'm not seeing or something?" Um, I think but one you or two mines is enough. do make a good point enough. that that wasn't a tiny choke. Maybe one or two there, one there, or one there, one there. I think that's enough. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, and then I think he had some warrants down too. So yep. even if his units weren't there, I think the pigs deal with it long enough for his units to come out. Yep. Actually, I like these mines now, though. These are kind of nice mines, yeah. He's going to get a lot of information about what Shrieks' army positioning is when he starts to move out, when those mines go off. I do like the uh, expansion here from Shrieks. Unfortunately, Chicken Fingers is going to have... Uh, ferrets. Ferrets, which is going to be very good against this setup, with the mines here and the forward expansion. But yep. if ferrets weren't in this game, I would say this is great for Shrieks. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's actually taken a very early expansion and i think that's something that uh you might even consider doing more of shrieks something like this yeah. just trying to trying to play the most greedy you can and then getting punished for it and then doing a little less greedy eventually you can stop getting punished for it and you can figure out just how greedy you can get um and that's a really useful thing i found to, to actually try to do in this game yep uh i will say though drop the pigeons no good uh um, yes <laughs> 15, we covered that. A couple 15 games squirrels is 100 times better than 12 squirrels and 3 pigeons in almost every situation. Um, especially against ferrets. You need to be able to just beat the army. The yeah, there's nothing. Ferrets, so. When you're playing against ferrets, those are going to insta shot any any squirrels you see. So the oh, pigeons yeah, yeah. are really doing pretty, mu pretty much nothing. Yeah, yeah. And he's actually going to bait him into a fight here. If he fights in these mines, he's going to lose his entire army. And the ferret is going to pressure down this mill. It's a very bad situation for Shrieks, considering he hasn't shattered, this, uh, shattered these mines yet. Yeah. yeah he's going to walk right into these mines. This is just a really nice setup from Chicken Finger. Yeah, there's not Actually, much Shrieks can do here. It's not a lot of misplay from Shrieks. It's more like standard uh, ferret shenanigans, honestly. Yeah. It's very I think frustrating the choice of getting, to play against. Um, what do you think about the choice of getting skunks here versus maybe cams? What do you think about that? Um... It's fine. You're going against Mass Squirrel, Mass Tier One in yeah, jokes. So that's I what actually, I think too. I... I actually really like the choice of the skunk here. Um, now... Also, skunks are ranged, so if you're doing a lot of kiting, cams are garbage in kiting. That's yeah, that's true. So I'm a fan. Chicken gonna get this mill down. One health in the mill. <laughs> the mill is still alive somehow. Trying to throw it on any mines. Somehow at one health still. Yeah, the, the <laughs> kiting is pretty good from Shrieks. I think he's playing well. Yes, he is. And he's going to get those mines. That's nice. 
He's gonna lose his base eventually. There's no way that stays alive against Ferret at six health. But yeah, chicken. I mean, chicken has got enough value for sure, and now he's farming right. up as well. So he's farming. He's putting. Yeah. So Shriek's putting more farms in this base when it's so low health. Unless you're really confident you can hold it. Hold up. Is hold a up. Mistake. Hold up. Why you gotta be? You gotta be rallying your skunk here too. That the skunk is actually giving Shriek's a huge edge against Chicken Fingers Army. Look, he only has two ferrets and three yes, squirrels. Yes. Yeah. He's if totally won this fight. If the skunk is here too. He can just push forward and kill the mill and win the game right now. Yeah, this is a game exactly. winning position, hundred percent. But he needs. Chicken figure has gone so him. greedy just to completely farm up his base here. Yeah, no, he, he, he realizes it. Okay, this is this is the point. If you realize what you're up against, you see that many farms. Shriek's literally won this game as of right now. Absolutely. If the skunk is here and he just keeps pushing, it's over. It's ferrets are dead. He kills the ferrets. Over. He just focuses down the mill. It's it's game. He might get some value on Warrens here, but it's nowhere near as much as getting that entirely farmed mill up. Okay, so uh, now the skunk the, is here. That's skunk fine. Skunk is here. But you gotta, he's still doing fine. You, you can't now he's running. Full surrender. Yeah, no, you gotta push, push. You got this. You got this. Fight this. Totally got this. This, this, this the pigeon, or the parrot, yeah, the pigeons are actually doing a lot now with now that the skunks are here. Yes. P yeah, pigeon skunk is good. So he did um, get the Warren. He got the ferret Warren. Okay, so... He's allowed Chicken to continue to farm up. Yeah, so there's four farms here for Chicken and four for Shriek. So it's kind of even right now. But Shriek's has a better army, so despite not taking the win, he's still ahead right now. He just I, needs just, to take a yeah. good fight. I'm so worried about Shriek's playing defensive here with how low his base is playing against ferrets. Um, really, if he's just not paying attention for a moment, a couple ferret shots is enough. Or, or a lizard harass yeah, yeah, or is lizards. enough to just completely fo focus down that mill, and that is just... No, no he he's can base trade. He mill. can base trade, though. He can, like, go right in here because the lizards are gone. Now just focus the mill. Hard focus the mill, Shriek's, and you think you can do it. Focusing the pigs instead. It's fine. It's fine. Subs is coming back. Position. He's gonna get the base. Now he has to fight. He has to fight because the, the army. He actually has a great army against this composition. He's full retreating though. Now he has to fight though. He has some skunk gas going down. He, yeah, he looks chicken finger comes uh, back. Yeah. So wow. it's just not quite having the the game sense of knowing that you can win. Um, yeah. The you know the killer instinct. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, so right there at the four and a half minute mark, uh, Shriek's chicken had no army left, and Shriek's had like a plenty of army. You just bring the skunks with you, and you kill. Yeah, I completely agree. Otherwise, Chicken Figure wins. Now he's got. And honestly, when he took at that base right there, which Chicken is now rebought, um, if he had just turned and fought from right where he just destroyed it, he would have maybe still lost, but he would have probably almost army traded. Um, which is so much better because you've both traded mills at this point, and if you can trade the army and force Chicken to have to rebuy that, you're in a much better position than just because you kind of you kind of ran away streaks. I don't know if you you, you kind of held right click, and a lot of shots went off in your army. Yeah, the thing about um, squirrels retreating against squirrels is it's an expensive maneuver to retreat. Um, now, over committing is something that happens to a lot of players, but you do still lose a lot when you retreat. Um, and Squizzard is very good at pursuing, so, yeah. yeah he cannot run right now. He cannot run away, but he's going to lose his entire army in this retreat. He realizes a little too late, and that is going to be it. Shrieks, I think, is on one farm or something. Yeah, it doesn't matter, game's over. Yeah. It all came back to that moment where he lost his expansion and couldn't counterattack well enough. Um... Yeah. You know, uh, Chicken actually taking this third base makes, I think, I don't know if he's, he doesn't, I don't think he really wants it for... No, it's a base trade. Um, it's a base trade, yeah, exactly. It's a nice, it's a nice pickup there for subs. I think it's a good idea. When you're ahead like that, one of the only ways you can lose at some points like that is a base trade, and so protecting against that is a really good idea in a lot of scenarios. Yep. So I, I do want to commend Shrieks here for somehow holding against that opening. When you have a forward expansion and your opponent has ferrets, that's like the ferret player's yeah. dream, right? So somehow oh, man, Shriek yeah. survived with one hit point on that base. One health. Oh my god. And goodness. then pushed back with the skunks, which were an amazing call. And then basically had the game in his hands and didn't quite realize it. So up until that point, that was great. That was a win. You just gotta know when to commit. Exactly, yeah. Was that game three? That was game three. Okay. Yes. Alright, here we go, game four. Alright. Again, uh, again, Chicken Finger Subs is the enemy. Chicken Finger Subs has decided to pick up Shriek's deck, going with the triple defenses. I like Owl. the skunk call here. Skunks go really well with uh, with structures like MGs. Yeah. 
And so, part uh, of it is actually, the secret power of MGs. Uh, MGs and Arties are the only two structures in the game that actually block army. Block, exactly. Army, they, they, be they become uh, a solid obstruction. And so you're making your own choke for your skunk gas. It's it's crazy. <laughs> it's kind of fun, actually. I love that kind of stuff. It's really great. There's this one map. It's like a DLC. It was it was one of Gent's things, I think. Yeah. And it was like there was only two entrances to the base, and you started with like two fully farmed bases, and you could just MG both sides, and they couldn't scout you. <laughs> right. Yep. Yep. Because they can't even get through. Yeah. Yeah. They just can't walk through. But uh, okay. Very early expand from Chicken Finger as, as well as from Streaks. A little slow behind, but that's basically about the same. So yeah, Chicken Finger actually, I believe he's been playing. He's been playing RD very well, honestly. I, I've been seeing Chicken Finger do a lot of really good RD play recently. He, uh, if if, you, if he sees his opponent putting down a tier two, he doesn't run home and put down skunks. He runs home down and puts down an RD. <laughs> yep, that's and, a um, QQ maneuver, I believe. Yeah, no, it's really it's very good actually. Um, He's okay, here we have the, the this game. pigeons again from Shrieks. Just do the skunks first and then the pigeons. It's like right. an anti-timing here. Um, pigeons are garbage with, with only tier 1. You just need more squirrels. And then if but you want to have the pigeons yeah. with the skunks, you need to put down the one that takes longer to build first. So skunk, then pigeons, and then you've got yourself a really powerful composition. So Chicken Finger has put down some defenses. Oh, I see where he's putting him. Okay, yeah, so interesting. He's getting, he's getting greedy. He's trying to he's trying to make a defensive line here, and get greedy back here. Um, there is just a lot of room to run around on this this base. I mean, I think it might work out for subs this game. He's so greedy with this actually. Wow, oh, yeah. only three squirrels. If <sighs> if Shrieks went around and attacked the base over here, it'd be a pretty powerful position. But take a, take, a, take a look at his scouting. I'm wondering if he's seen the other base yet. Has Shriek seen the other base? No, he hasn't. No. So yeah, that's that's another problem we're seeing right now. Shriek, the better scouting from Shriek. So he needs to look around the map and realize that his opponent has five farms going into a third base now. Um, and that he has only one warrant of squirrels. Yeah. And at this point, honestly, he has enough squirrels probably to break this hold. But he doesn't even need to. He can just walk around and take out this, whole, this other base for free. Yep. And there's no the way Artie chicken can defend. Up. And Artie is very good against squirrels. Yeah, and once this Artie gets up, walking through the water, he's gonna little timing right before this Artie gets up. Yeah, this guy uh, don't want to walk through this water with those skunks. Wow, and now has allowed the Artie to get up. That hold is completely solid. Now getting an Artie up on the high ground, this is looking kind of bad now. Really needs to get into that little soft exposed underbelly right now before that balloon that Artie get up. It's a good, uh, good farming from shrieks all things considered it's a good uh... yeah he's staying pretty even actually on on farms here yep he's definitely behind because he uh chicken has been farming for longer but at least staying somewhat even is really good the problem is he hasn't oh he's nice attack here yeah so he's gonna get a lot of value here uh the problem is this balloon's gonna come up oh he actually can see it because of the pigeon high vision yep although he's getting so he shit a back. lot he... okay he took out a few uh a few pigs there yeah, I feel like he could have got more though. The minute Chicken this, figure now gonna. The minute oh, this wow, already goes gonna... up, he's gonna have control over the entire middle of the map. Yeah, and now that he's gonna get double owl down, and he's completely safe. He's probably gonna. I think he's probably gonna throw down a ton of farms in that third base. Yes, he is. He's gonna do exactly that. Honestly, I'm not uh, a fan, Chicken. I would say don't. You don't need to have these farms. Get a third owl. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> really? I think. Like, actually, I think. I think getting three bases for owl pushes is kind of nuts because you. No, can no, get... I, I just, I'm saying like get three owls in, and once the owls are out, oh, then, yeah, 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 yeah. then farm up your third base. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would actually, honestly, I would start selling down MGs or something. I gotta say, she probably can't do that. <laughs> yeah. So she, yeah, Sharice, you really, you rightly need to start pushing in now. Yep. It's, yeah, it's a good angle too. Yeah. This is the right idea. I mean, there's an already there. It's a really good already position, but this is about the only chance he's got. Yeah, he needs to focus on this mill or something. Something needs to happen. Unfortunately, that arty is so oppressive. Oh, that's such a good arty! Oh my god. Yeah, that's such a good arty. I, I can see most of his base too. That that base is basically useless from Shrieks because he can't actually put any farms on it. Um, and so honestly, the call from Shrieks right now. Oh, I don't know, man. Even like later hey, dude, game, already, he's gonna it's lose. It's already game over. Yeah, with his yeah. deck and with the map, it's already over. I think he. Needs if he had to... Falcon maybe instead of Cam, and he just like sold his tier one, bought a third base, fully farmed it. Chicken has no army to attack it. Somehow holds against the owls. I mean, Mass Cam Wolf could maybe take out an Artie. 
like speedy cams, but like oh, he's gonna run his cams in there, like sneaky cam, but. They it all came down do to that. Yeah. It all came down to that push at the top, the first one right, that exactly. was a little bit too little, too late um, already. And honestly, the thing is with these skunks, they're good units, but Chicken had no units. So <laughs> the thing is, the, the skunks don't really do much. Honestly, pure tier one from Shrieks would have been better because you probably could have focused down that mill harder. Yeah, but he, he, went did, in. he didn't know. He didn't know. Chicken was being insanely greedy and got away with it. I think that's the main main deal here. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, other than saying he should have known, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Okay, here comes the fight. Yeah, he's just gonna send in my wave and I would say out of all the games This is the loss that is like most understandable and not actually down to a big uh, mistake from Shrieks um, I think just scouting really I mean I mean it's oh, just he's... chicken fingers was greedy got away with it It's a good map for what he was trying to do and it worked yeah. um, So it worked, yeah, I, it worked I don't, very well. I, I, there's not a lot of learning from that one unfortunately. Nice game from Chicken, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it works. Yeah, if you recognize the position you've got and you play it greedy and you get away with it, then uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. <laughs> okay, Shrieks, like what he saw from Chicken in the last game. I did, I did number these order in time played, so I believe this game just this game comes right after the game that they just played. Um, so Shrieks, I think, saw that owl play and he switched back to his original deck of owl defenses. Yep. One of the things about it is you you got to get your expansion up. You need us. You need two bases, and you need an arty, and then you can owl up freely, basically. So you get your expansion, right. you get your defenses up, you get an arty up successfully, and then you've got your position, your set. Um, I, yeah, I would like to see Shrieks do a couple, you know, a couple tier one, get the eight farms, get help, help tier one, and then go to the basically the front of his territory line on his starting mill, put down a couple MGs. Really like show shrieks or sorry show subs that he's going to hold that and then buy that mill, and then if subs doesn't push into that mill, he just keeps continuing to creep the MGs, and um, and it would you'd basically force subs to push into an MG wall. It's not a bad um, idea. Um, I think, and maybe more important though is, we got to talk about the timing of an arty here real quick. Uh, like you were saying last game, you wait until your opponent puts down a tier two and then you drop an arty because they can't actually push with their army advantage then. That would be a, a great spot. This forward spot right here, you maybe yeah. put a couple MGs down, you try to expand, but the minute you see Chicken drop a Skunk Warren or something, which means you've got to be scouting him constantly, like deep scouting and see his tech, then you go home and you build an arty. And if you hold it, then you've got like control of the middle of the map and you've got four bases easy and you can deny your opponent spaces and you know if you have four bases and your opponent has two then the only thing they can do is attack you and uh if you have the yep. arty and you know they're coming exactly uh one thing a little more basic that's pretty advanced it's good one a little more basic than that is buying your eighth farm shrieks oh no did you miss one farm. you missed a farm oh he no missed a farm yeah so currently even because he has that campfire but uh could definitely get that last farm at the back of the base cannot forget that i feel like he yeah, I, I feel like he's missing it. No, he is missing it. But he has that. He has the campfire, so technically they're even on farms. But you know, it's like you just can't miss that. <laughs> I like the MG down by the campfire. Obviously, he's yep. trying to avoid lizard harassment. And um, honestly, if got... he puts his if he puts his units right by that mill, they're close enough between both the campfire and that other MG to defend both. Yeah. You know, because if Jekin decides to go in, he's the other sword the fire. It's surrounded by water, and Shrieks could easily, with the road, walk over and defend his MG. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, that campfire is not going down. Um, I like yeah, the no squirrel way. placement here. This is good. Shrieks isn't doing anything right now, uh, and he's floating food. So I would say drop a balloon, maybe. Drop balloon some squirrel warrens. Yeah. You got to be scouting, too. Anytime you're just sitting in, like, oh, what do I do? What is What are they doing? You know. Sometimes you can flow food like this right before a mill comes up if he wants to throw down like a ton of farms. Yeah. But unless he's gonna do that, he's floating. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, farming up like this. But if you're uh, waiting like that, awesome. you know, positioning the squirrels back and forth isn't doing you anything. You got to figure out what Chicken Finger is up to. If you know that right. Chicken Finger is farming and dropping a skunk warren, then you Did can put skunk? down an arty. You know. Yeah. Did he see that skunk? I don't know if he saw it. He technically yes. I don't oh, know he if did. You okay, that, he did. He saw it. Oh, sub's gonna run around here. I don't think there is there. A, oh, there technically is a one hole back route. Oh man. Yep. It's gonna be yeah, pretty cool. He's actually gonna be a really nice hit here. <laughs> gonna go for Warrens. Pigs. One pig, one Warren, two pigs. 
three pigs. What is Shrix doing? Where's his army? I don't know what the reaction was from that. He's not listening or watching the. You know, you just burrow home and rally your squirrels. And yeah. You cut your losses. You still lose some, but you don't lose that much. That was four pigs and two warrens. That's too much damage. For that's, one that's so much damage, yeah. Oh, he's and now he's gonna go in back. again because he, yeah, because he hasn't rallied back. He's gonna get every single farm on his original base. Well, and... only seven. There was never that eight farm. Oh, my bad. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe it was a tactical play. <laughs> yeah. No. I. I mean, you just. You just burrow home, rally your squirrels. There's not some kind of weird split army thing. You don't have to worry. Chicken's not going to rally in with six squirrels against the front of your base right now. I mean, he could, but he's not going to. Uh, I get he's trying to get the arty up, but this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's just too much damage at this point. You have to respect this. And then once he, well, let's say he did do it. Oh, like no, he says, he's oh, just he's mis okay, so the counter attack. The counter attack I like. This is not bad. Yeah. Focus it's, the mill, though. This is really weird and scrappy. That already yeah. is not going to go up, is it? No, no way. He lost too much stuff there, and now the skunks are going to pressure it down. There it goes. That's game. Yep, yep. Absolutely game over. Uh, Chicken Finger has farms. Shrieks doesn't, and he already went down. I like the counterattack idea, but maybe not when the Artie's about to finish and you need to keep it up. I don't know. Yeah. Just everything at the wrong Chicken, time here. Chicken Fingers, I know you're going to win this game, but you're also floating 400 food. And I get that because you're running around with lizards, but I would just go home and throw down all your farms and then throw down an owl ward or something. Yeah. He looks like he did all the farms and some lizard wards. That's good, too. Yep. Nice. Good nut. Good stuff. Shrik's not going to surrender, but it is, it is for sure over. Yeah. There goes the balloon. Yeah, that lizard harass was uh, was brutal. Also, Shrieks, I, I, I don't want to be dead horse here because it's over, but if you, you re notice how you, he rebought his original starting mill, instead of rebuying, like if you wanted to rebuy another mill, he should have bought the fresh mill next to it. Oh, the the farm you mean? See, he bought this pig? Oh, did, oh, he never took the mill out, never mind. Yeah, no, the mill was okay, Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. He, he did refarm here instead of the fresh farm, but he, I don't think he knew, the, knew about that, so. That's true, yeah. Shrieks was in a good Actually, position. He had a good map for his idea. Um, they already almost got up and all that. He just needed to shut the lizard harass down. And if you only lose two pigs and a warren instead of all of the pigs and two warrens, then you can still get the arty up. You can still win a game. But from there, this is uh, this is over. So in the, f in the future, uh, when you do respect that the lizard harass next time and you do go stop it, as soon as that you've been harassed that way, you need to plug that hole in some way. Yeah. So that may be putting down an MG in, in the case of your deck, putting down a mine if you tend to run mine more, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But you need to plug the hole and make sure it doesn't happen again. All right, last one here. And uh, this is the best deck I've seen from Shrieks yet because Boar Very is good. meta deck, yeah. <laughs> Play Boar, win more, you know what they say. Looks like Subs wants to do a mole rush. Shrieks not scouting the base very effectively. Now he sees it. Now he should realize instantly he's going to burrow home. Sees the moles. Good sell. Sells the farms. Yeah, Good sells them sell. early. So, Shubs is going to go try to focus down these warrens. Probably uh, just no. going to sell the warrens. Oh, no, it's fine. This is totally fine if you just sell the warrens. No, you got to sell them early. Oh, no. Ah. So, this is this is, this is is totally fine from Shrieks if once the moles get close, you sell the warren. Yep, yep. The moles this got a hit, 100%. and so the warren sells got less value. But it's still fine. A mole went down. That mole's going to go down. He's going to have to sell. So, it's all right. I would, would say, been, as quick honestly, advice for Shrieks, I like the trying to get the Warrens up far away from the moles. It makes sense. Uh, probably better. Pigs. Yeah, you need the pig fire. But better than that is even just splitting them up. Like, one over here and one there. Because when the two are together, too, yeah. it's one target. If your initial Warrens had been one here and one there, then you get a squirrel out and you, you knock it down. Yeah. I, and I say honestly, this because I have died this way and it sucks and it's <laughs> annoying but i'm just saying you want your warrens next to your pigs if at all possible maybe one of them far away to be sneaky but you also want them split from each other so the moles don't have one target to go after yeah honestly this was not even like that great of a mole rush from yeah. chicken finger subs yeah he really he he walked his moles so far and, and through the pig fire that he lost a ton of value like he, he would have lost probably 40 50 food worth of value um, and now he's continuing the mole rush, even though these warrens are up there and haven't been sold. Well, so and this works though for Chicken because Chicken has one warren, and Shrieks has the equivalent of three. 
like seven farms yeah, that's true. and three moles whereas shrieks has had has uh two warns and now also this uh mg and he's still only on five farms so this is still worth it for chicken shrieks needs to sell this right now he loses t t <laughs> oh, no. okay all right now that that is all settled we've got ourselves some units here and chicken finger subs has nothing so Shrieks could try to counter push, but I don't think he's got enough for that. Otherwise, you he could, could sell. You could totally get a farm with these two. I, th I think if he if he ran right and wait instantly, as soon as hey, he sold those moles, I think he gets a farm, at least because he has you know two squirrels against nothing. I mean, yeah. he has, this chicken has no mines, no defenses. And also, that middle farm there that was it was a building farm. I think he would have got there. Well, in time. hang on here, because chicken has had chicken has had seven farms for a long time. And Shrieks has only had five for a long time. So even if Shrieks kills one pig, I, I think Chicken like wins a counterattack. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely know, a tough it's... situation for Shrieks. Yeah, honestly, the way that to counter mole push is very complicated and yeah, yeah, you it's have not to be easy. very quick on those cell times, so it's 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 tough when you're playing against a person like Erolu or chicken figure subs in this scenario. <laughs> it's a very weirdly specific thing. I like the mines here. Um yeah. makes sense. You're gonna hold it. They're, they're pretty good that behind placements. You, that's that's, that's you, the angle of attack. So. You gotta get the rest of your farms up though. Like getting eight farms yeah. up is so so insanely important. Like getting those warrants is fine, but now queue up the farms. You gotta get you gotta get all eight. You need to, you basically need to sell a warrant just for the timing because every sem single second you don't have eight farms up and your opponent does is your delay value inevitable. lost. Exactly. It's like, actually, I, I, oh, he's oh, going to yeah, do a little mole push be, here. Yeah, this is going to be, gonna be pretty brutal. There needs to be mines, and he's just going where the mines are, and he doesn't know that. There you go. Nice mine. Oh, he doesn't see the mine. That's a good, that's good. All right, oh, he's going for it. He's moving his army away at the last second. Yeah, the moles are really nice in these kind of pushes here. He's going to hold, I think, but barely. <laughs> yep, so he does okay. hold. He does hold. That was good. Um... Stubbs needs to sell. He's not gonna. He's gonna keep. Uh, okay, he's gonna go on. Honestly, yeah, putting that mine up, Shrieks right there, like right when he was about to attack, was really, really good. But yep. if you had kept, he kind of walked his army away, with, like as you were saying earlier, scouting with your army. He was walking. He walked his army away, and I don't know if you people, a lot of people don't know this, but when you when when units get hit by a mine, they get a short period of days, and um, and if you can hit, start shooting like when a unit gets dazed, it's pretty good. Um, unfortunately, they just took a little damage, and then. Uh, he came in a little late to capitalize on that. I wasn't actually uh, familiar with that days period. I believe it's a slowdown effect, which um, like a very short. You can see it. It works. For, it's looking like it's cams because it reveals them for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, tier one, you know, not so much, but it definitely is useful. It's like a little. I don't know if you can see it around yet. Sometimes. Yes, yeah, right says it's two seconds of days. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe it's just slow. Maybe there's another effect it provides, but it is nice to be like next to the mine when it explodes because units get to their tiles and start shooting slower. Right. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so it's a bit of an interesting little tip. Chicken there. fingers just has a pretty, pretty big squirrel lead at this point, and he's getting farms. And he's, shrieks. He's actually denied shrieks a really safe expansion here. Yeah, he, he probably has this needs ninja, to but... leave his squirrels on the mines and MG because out far forward like this is going to get picked up. Oh, never mind. Okay, I get yes. he's trying to set up for okay. position. That's fine. This is this is a great idea. Yep. And then once that MG does go up, you can sell both those mines and the MG and just sit right on top of that MG. Yeah, this MG needs to be sold. And so, and also both those mines too. Oh no, I missed the mole. Thing oh, I over totally here. missed that too. Dang. Yikes. That's brutal. Lose a war and, uh, doing a little split attack here. Although, I'm just, <laughs> in this specific case, where he didn't rally back to defend against those mole warrens, it, it's kind of going to work out. Chicken needs to sell his, this mole warren though. Oh, he's gonna get another mole warren for it. Wow, he did not get need. He should not have got that much value. Really nice pickup there from Chicken Finger, and now not with the army. Oh, we let him run him into those mines. Yep, one mine goes off. Yeah, you can see little days on their faces. It's kind of hard to see, I guess, on the one, but it works with really long cams and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, moles are so good against that MG and mine stuff. Never surrendering. It probably feels pretty rough at the end of these games, but we've got to remember that this all goes back to that successful mole rush at the beginning. 
right. Yeah, it's you're sort of clinging on for dear life right now. You're trying to do whatever you can, but it. This game is like kind of a razor's edge all the time. Very small mistakes are so easily punishable in this game that you have to play nearly perfectly if you want to win, which is so interesting about this game. But um, yeah, so just really small mistakes like, you know, losing an MG at the beginning of the game, not being on lower farms for a short amount of time, it really adds up in this game. Yep. So yeah. All right. So now we're, I think we're doing a chicken finger subs game yep. versus Airloo. So we're going to see more chicken finger, but against a different opponent now so yes we go. and an opponent on the other spec the other side of the uh, skill spectrum right yeah exactly uh oh Rot row let's see if mine work uh what fight what version was this on oh oh this is public test all right i forgot sorry this is public test okay uh we have to, we have to switch over stand by stand by yep <laughs> I forgot about that. Sorry, he told me that, and I forgot that you had to be in that version to to do that. Switching over. I'm actually excited <laughs> to see some public test stuff. Yeah, me too. A lot of interesting stuff going on on the new new build, actually. Not only just the new units, but there's some interesting changes too. We'll say switch. Have you seen much of the public test stuff? Um, not a ton. I've played probably between five and ten games on it. Um, but I, I don't. I haven't read like all the changes in detail. Oh you no! Know, I've, I've... Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Secret change in public test. The list of replays has been reversed. It's now uh, anti-alphabetical order. Oh, interesting. I'll have to report that one. In the... <laughs> I think that's probably on purpose so that. Um later games appear at the top instead of at the bottom. I actually really like that. Oh, that is a good idea. <laughs> I wonder I if that was like that. I bet you that was on purpose. Eel is a yeah. genius. Uh, your, your stream is, like, your Discord stream is not super great. It's just a picture of your face, I think. Uh, on, let me, let me let figure me, this out. Let me pause real quick and go figure that out. You don't need to see more of my face. <laughs> well, not even, like, your face, just, like, your profile picture. <laughs> Oh, how's that? Ooh, I think this may be my fault. No, it's no, just a picture of my face now. Oh, when, I got it, I got it, I got it. When I closed out of the game, it stopped the little sh screen share, but I just turned it back on. I see it now, yep. We're good. Okay, Ooh, so Erlo 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 only crow? Yeah, wow, that's interesting. And chicken finger going uh, the lizard base instead of squirrels. Interesting. Well, more rush against Erlu. How the tables turn. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if but Chicken Erlu is... should know exactly how to handle this, I'm not worried about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, he does it all the time. So Chicken... <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is not, actually, this, this MG is not going to defend him. Well, he has to sell it. Yep. Now no. he's just going to go home and yeah, he's sell just, that. Yeah, he's small. just daring him to attack. He knows he's going to sell it. But... The mine is enough, yeah. Ooh, sell he it. does lose the mine. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Doesn't sell the moles. He, he got a kill on the mine. Can he, burrow? he can burrow to the mole worn. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes, I love that. Okay, I do want to point out, uh, for the longest time we just had six farms versus six farms, so the fact that it feels funny that Erlu is taking forever, it's actually fine. Because Chicken Finger only just got his seventh farm as well, so. Yeah. We're alright. Mm-hmm. just gonna sell yeah. down. This is, a, this is a really oppressive mole situation. Uh, yeah. But those moles are gonna lose value when he sells, so. In a second, we'll have a crow Eventually out. Eventually those crows are out, and then he has to sell, and then actually he might be, he really needs some lizards at home. Oh no! Burrow's home at a very bad time. Those moles go in. Now he's gonna lose all those for free. Gotta sell that more and go home. Nice. So l loses so, about 75 food. Chicken finger technically ahead on Eco a tiny bit, but yeah, he lost value. In the he could have been way more ahead if he just sold. Yeah, that was, that was fine. It was good though from chicken. Yeah, I like it. I don't mind it at all. Oh, thank you, Studios. It could have been an empty crit. Okay, wasn't aware of that. Oh, Erlu's gonna see this. Yes, he is. And the crow. Yep, sell it. 
So I, I'm, crow only, I think, is is not great. <laughs> no, especially it against seems, squirrel. It seems pretty memey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's probably. A, a but if he good. if he combos it with balloons and uh, MGs, the crow should be fine. Like crow MG is uh -huh. probably fine defensively. I don't know. I don't know if you've heard about the the mass crow epidemic we've been seeing. <laughs> I, no. I, from what I understand. Crows are almost a must pick as far as like adding efficiency to a mid to late game army. Like yes, they're, alone they're, they're, they're not nuts. great, but with a mixed tom army they're just insane. Right, yeah. It's because just like there's no air AoE in the game. Right? I don't I mean, it's just that they they just win against tier one. And so when you have a lot of them, they just scale super well. Okay, I re I'm gonna pause here and say this from Chicken Fingers is I love this kind of split attack there's two mgs here these moles are not really a threat so he's pulling his lizards around this way and there's what nine lizards here and there's only three crows yep gonna so eat up those crows eat up the crows gonna be able to kill this base that's really nice i love that split attack yep even just the moles kind of threatening from the side through air law for a second that was nice that's really good yeah oh no 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 Okay, he does oh. throw him away there. It's fine. Yeah, bad bad oh, he, thing. Gets, he gets a warren. He gets a warren. Okay. Sell those moles, though, very quickly. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Burrow to so them. So much lost value, yeah. Hey, Take burrows it. to them. Love that. Sell them. Love him. that. Sell them, though. Yeah, for sure, sell them. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's value. Because now Chicken Fingers has, like, five tier one warrens against only two or three or four, four now, but uh, I think there's a time when he can no longer be aggressive. I think he's got to expand himself. Yeah, the, the thing with those two MGs are, they can't. They kind of prevent that forward. He's just still going for more. Oh, Does Halo know? He must know. Yeah, okay, he so the moles are coming, and now he can attack with the lizards from the back. Yeah, but wow, he's not. The... Yes, Ooh, yes, this is good. This is really good. Right? <laughs> uh, the problem is, look at those, how good crows are. Look how good crows are. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, no, get the mill. Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, wow. Well, okay, crows, crows are pretty are good. Crazy. Though. Wow, sell them. Oh, he gets another! Oh, another 60 food. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I love you that. love that for chicken. That's Dude, great. That is, that uh, he's actually amazing. really kind of ahead now. Kind of a lot ahead. All this, all the little value he's been picking up. He's he's really extending this lead a lot. I would say he is clearly a little bit ahead. Very yes, for easily sure. and clearly a little ahead. So now Early's going to get that badger. Yeah, for a Hail Mary. And you know what? Against a badger that doesn't have pigeons, just camp falcon it, man. Just mass cam falcon, you'll be fine. Yeah. Like, there is no sustained push here. I guess crows are good against falcons, but I don't know. I, I feel like we'll they see. are pretty good against falcons. You, honestly, squirrels, I think, are. <laughs> I think lizards are going to be so hard to play in this new patch with with how cr good crows are going to be. And they're already hard to play in this patch, so. I can't believe this lizard didn't die against that mine. Yeah. Sure. Also, oh, another page. Extra what is mine he doing? scouting vision. Oh my god, these crows are gonna murder. <laughs> yeah, the moles, a murder of crows, perhaps, you might say. Ah, yes, yes, quite. <laughs> okay, so the badger supply blocked, and chicken is setting up for a lizard mole timing push. Right, the moles against crows. Not sure how much I love that, but he's going in. Crows are kind of nuts, as you're seeing. The moles can't shoot up. Yeah, and the crows have. What, did he lose, like, what? A, a crow? Even that? Okay, so I'm gonna say that I think Erlu won that only because Chicken Finger was targeting MGs and Warrens. If the Lizards had been all shooting up, I think they do. Yeah, fight. yeah, the crows would have gone down more, but yeah. But holy shit, that was. That's a huge loss. I think Erlu wins now. Uh, I think Chicken Finger was ahead and is now behind. Wait, look at the armor graph. Wow, that's a big dive in the armor graph for Chicken Finger. Yeah, he lost uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. an MG. <laughs> I don't think he lost a single crow there. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah. Yeah. That, that I, honestly, tough. I'm. I don't. I didn't like that attack at all from the beginning. I. It was pretty I mean, gutsy. I yeah, think it was moles, a mistake. moles. Twelve moles against crows. Like I mean, a couple moles for tanking against the MGs and taking him out. Fine. But twelve moles against twelve crows. Uh, I mean, I would I just say so. just get Falcon Cam, man. Like just if you see the badger, yeah. get yourself some tech. You're gonna die now. Yeah, the badger is now out. And uh, he's gonna oh, run on top oh, of these he's crows. trying to get to the Warren. Uh, nah, not gonna work. Good try though. GG. GG. The only thing he has is maybe these mines all go off. Yeah, but the crows. 
He's oh, trying. you might be able to get the Vendor actually if he focuses it. No, it goes with too much. Nice try. It's hard to focus that. Definitely good try from Chicken. Yep. A good opening. Uh, a good opening. Very good opening. And I think he just, unfortunately, that attack was kind of a throw. Yeah. Yeah, I think one more mine would have done it, honestly. Yeah, Studios, you're talking about Crow only, though. I, I don't think Erlu really, in a real game, like for a tournament, would ever run Crow only. Yeah, I, I think, think we I think would, I would I think we would see Crow only only until people figured that Squizzard beats it and then never again. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Yes, the mole push was the throw. That Crow. Was push, yep. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. Okay, true. so there are right. no new units with this. Uh no crow, no scav. We do have changes hey, with a to a very fun deck. We have changes to snakes and skunks, but those aren't being played, and then we have You can borrow to Mole Warren, so uh, uh, I guess more Erlu. commander reveal. I guess. <laughs> okay, Erlu's just straight memeing right now. Yeah, Erlu is, has something going on here. Yes, Actually, this, this mine, though, is really good. It's gonna stop the mole push. Hey, hey, alright. Erlu's stopping a mole rush with mines. Get an MG <laughs> up, too, though, buddy. <laughs> I love this. Dude, to tank over here thinking boar crow. Boar crow timing. Do it. I wanna see that. <laughs> Use just can say this one is... uh, crow MG mine, like only crow with MG mine to defend, and then do a boar push with it. <laughs> I, I don't understand what Erlu hopes to accomplish in this game. <laughs> uh, winning with garbage. <laughs> very... Yeah, my bad. yes, yeah, <laughs> I guess. It's pretty funny. Oh, it's a tank has done it. Nice, nice. What's the tank? It can make anything work. Honestly. Doesn't make, no, it doesn't make it good. <laughs> it's true. Ooh, Erlu left a mine on the high ground there. Yes, yeah, Studios, of... with your MC mod. Just because Tatanka wins with it doesn't make it good. Shade. <laughs> 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 so Erlu with this uh, mine on the high ground, you see it by his base. Erlu has a mine inside oh, of he's trying base. To, he's trying to throw the... Uh, dude, okay, okay. He's trying to get an arty out, but he waited. He floated the food until after Chicken did a scouting cycle. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's so really... funny. The thing is, though, Chicken has moles. Like, theoretically, he should be able to bust through whatever. Yeah, but he doesn't know it's there yet. Yeah. He really needs to come see out this. I mean, really, honestly, just do a mole push. He has moles already up. You just, like, you can definitely break through a balloon yeah, and he's instantly an MG. rallying. So uh... I think some mines down. I think you need those mines. I don't know, Erlu's got a lot of mines up, honestly, with those against... Oh, look at the moles. I, I didn't realize where they were. I thought they were at his base. I love moles are... I love that you can burrow t to uh, mole warrants. It, I feel like it gives <laughs> so don't. many more options to shit like this. Like, it's... I just feel like it's fun, you know? You can actually... It is fun. That's true. It is very fun. You can get your commander around the map and do more tactics with it. Like, he's still gonna lose. I don't think this push <laughs> is gonna do anything. But, like, I don't know. It just feels fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is kind of funny. But you actually let the Artie get up now. So now Erlu's farming up a lot, and this is not looking super good for Chicken anymore. Although the thing is, even though it's not looking good for Chicken, it's just that Erlu's picked such an insane deck that I think it might be fine anyway. I mean, it's kind of, at least for now, it's going to work now that he's got the Artie up somehow. Yeah, no, now you can't push in anymore. Okay, I, mass like, Falcon? I like the Mass Falcon yeah. because the... Well, you need a second base. The Mines and the Artie are both irrelevant against the Falcon. All he has to worry about is the uh, balloons. Is the balloons and the MGs. So now comes the Fox. Oh, really, I think Chicken... Erlu's not going to go Wolf first. Bro. <laughs> I guess Chicken doesn't know Erlu's... He doesn't know his comp, but he, he knows he has no Tier 1 at this point. Well, he knows so he doesn't I have think... any units up, at least. Right. Yeah, and so at this point, why don't you just sell down like a ton of tier one and just buy like every mill on the map and start farming to the max? I and mean, what's Erlu gonna do about it? I mean, this is like a time like a go, right? Because now he's got a fox, which is not gonna be great. But yeah, fox beats falcon, right? Yeah, and also mass like farming up a lot. That'd be really bad if you were gonna do that into a fox. I think but, you uh, just I mean, you just point. have to keep Erlu contained, because if Chicken Fingers can somehow hold these five bases and keep Erlu on three. Erlu can never attack with his structures, right? He can he can fox harass forever, unless he gets cam trapped or mine hit. Uh, 
especially if it's a wolf fox, you know, it's that much easier to die to a bunch of mines. But you can never kill kill Erelu. Has so many defenses now. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. What are you gonna do? Don't even bother. If you can, if you can keep Erelu on this on these three bases where his already can't do anything to you, and then just play forever against the annoying fox, I think. Yeah. I think. I, I think it's it. like a big perimeter of mines against that fox, like. Make Erelu worried about anywhere he walks. Like, put like little four squares of mines everywhere to just insta kill the. the... Isn't it four mines to kill a fox? Right? I think it's three. I think it's just three. three. So yeah, just put little little mine traps all over the place. Yeah. Like, I like. Uh, and... I like this mole warren here. I'm pretty sure, this is literally uh, I... just a burrow spot. I think so too. Yeah. Well, I don't know why you want that though. Like. Yeah. I what's guess the point so. of going over there? I don't know. I'm not sure why it's there actually. Because then you have to walk all the way around for that. I would just put it in your base at this point. So now the fox is out. I don't know if he's out of the. You must have out the ward at some point. Ooh, lightning but lizards. Now, now mines need to go down. Lightning lizards is another thing that can catch a fox. Yeah, for sure. He has to be actually airless. Be really careful. Now goes the wolf. Makes a lot of sense. Honestly, I think maybe even wolf first may not have been so bad, but uh, against these falcons, it's gonna be really nice. Look how uh, fast those falcons are! Wow. Airloo can never kill a base without an <laughs> oh, yeah, without right. an arty. <laughs> I never thought and about then that. Artie, from these three bases, there's nowhere to place an Artie that can actually kill one of Chicken Finger's bases. So what Chicken Finger needs to do is buy all five. Like, if Erlu gets this one, he wins. Because then he yeah. can put Arties up. So I think Chicken Finger just needs to... He doesn't know, but he just needs to buy the the mills. It's like one of Jen's games, really. It's, yeah, it's like, yeah it's for like, real. Yeah. It's like, like a skunk, pigeon, fel or fox game or something. Yeah. He's going to try some dumb, like... Oh, you know what? Oh, okay. That's what the burrow spot is for. It's for the cliff harass of the falcons. He can burrow over here and manage the falcons. Maybe, yeah. No, it's that exactly be... what it is. Okay. I like that. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. He actually might be like, if he, if he, oh, there's too many defenses. Look at, look at the back defenses Erlu has. Yeah. Look at that. He's now going to lose a lot of falcons. His commander isn't there. So he doesn't know he's, oh no. That's a lot. Oh, oh man. That's a lot. Owie. Of... <laughs> Owie. Ouch. Oh, he, no. oh, chicken figure thought there was a back door over there. Okay, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that that is a that's an unfortunate pickup. So early enough, throwing down like oh, 100 mines. Oh no, he's oh he's up taking defense. up chickens. He's put, he's taking up chicken finger spots, um, or at least trying to. to yeah, to yeah. Keep, so it's you know. it's a safe lane for his fox. Exactly. Yeah. Although with with big commander scouting, you should be able to deal with this. Oh yeah, I like the new commander reveal buff. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, mines still get value, obviously, but uh, there's more counterplay to them. Like, a mass minefield, is, it's easier to, to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <That's> so funny. <laughs> Dude, chicken, please buy the bases. Oh, my oh, God. My. At, least, at least buy a third base. Okay, like, at this in. point. Uh, Why, uh, though? Uh, It was value, I guess. He killed an arty. I guess. Lightning lizards, man. Yeah. He uh, is dropping right, I, the falcons and going with more lightning lizards to counter the fox, which makes a lot of sense. Like, falcons are not the answer. Yeah, he's putting down a lot of moles, just uh, mostly just tier one. Yeah, a lot of lizards, honestly, against fox, against fox wolf, just a lot of lizards that are lightning. It's going to be really nice. I guess you don't really, have you, you to don't take need this DPS. base if you are keeping an eye on it and ready to kill it the minute uh, Erlu buys it. Because yeah, cause he has nothing to defend that base if he tries to take it. He has to take it sneakily and then get defenses up, right? Exactly, Erlu, yeah. Erlu has to be a little sneaky boy about getting that base, which he's going to do right now. Alright, chicken, let's see it. <laughs> he's going to throw up a, a ton of mines. Even though he has oh, a lot of mines, it's not enough because, you know, he doesn't have any. <laughs> oh my god, Oh Erlu. no. This is on two bases, three bases. Snipe the wolf! Oh! No! Chicken, chicken, what are you doing? <laughs> Where the fuck is his commander? Where is he? Okay. Oh, he's gonna get the out. Oh, he's gonna get okay. the fox. But Where? wow, that was way too close. He doesn't even he hasn't scattered the other bases yet. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, one's gonna go down. <laughs> Where yeah, was we'll chicken down. during that entire that, exchange? That was way too close. Oh, don't. So many, so many mines. <laughs> what? What is going on? Chicken, what is my happening? Dude. <laughs> see the days. Oh my see god. The oh see my... the days. Yes. That's yes. what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. I'm just seeing how those. Lizards that, were just really erased, funny. but you know what? It doesn't matter because there's, there's no, no fox. There's no third base for Erlu. Yeah. There's no fox. There's at no all. fox to punish it. He's gonna get that whole base. And there's no there's no back defenses either because oh the, the only thing that can hit those falcons is gonna be the balloons, and they're not really in position to defend against the back 
hit here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh man, Fox is out now. It's a lightning fox too. Oh no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Chicken, I'm sorry. This is the most no. inefficient thing I could ever imagine. So bad. Oh, no. Oh. Chicken, no. <laughs> he, you know what? Erlu can't even kill Mole Warrens, except by waiting for moles to pop out and kill them one by one until the Warren kills us. I guess, yeah. <laughs> this is just so funny, man. This game's hilarious. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Buy the damn mill, oh my god. <laughs> This is insane. I, I can't even handle this. We're He's gonna start putting now. MGs up. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, no. Chicken finger, you have to Please. scouting this. Please. You, how can there's no way you lose the fluids? How does he not see and everything. that base? Also, the territory lines. Like, I mean, people don't pay attention to that very much, but again, he's just so Oh, seated. yeah, you mean like this line here? This line should be up here? Yeah, this line should be way but over there. Yeah. It's not, though. <laughs> Chicken figures all over the place. No kidding. Dude. Uh... <laughs> also, that's how he got the MGs up, because that base didn't finish in time. Oh, man. <laughs> man. No, yeah. I mean, Erlu, or Erlu. Man, he's just like, he's on the third base now. So also, took it out. the minute Chicken Fingers buys farm. his base, then the shenanigans are over. Yeah, it's what? over. It's game. Because <laughs> Erlu could never kill it. Oh my yeah. god. Can I hit a ton of mines now? Let's go. <laughs> oh! The... <laughs> Every single, Every single lizard is gone. Oh my goodness. He can still kill the base, though, because the fox takes forever. Oh, okay. Yeah. If he wants it, anyway. He'll chase it away, yeah. Oh, I'm not Actually, even sure if he can. Yeah, he gets it. Okay. The inefficiency. So now Erlu's starving. All of the random lizards running into the main defenses again. <laughs> this is the most painful shit I've yeah, ever seen. Yeah, it still Chicken has is still gonna win. Somehow. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> oh my god, does he see it? He sees it. Oh, Holy shit. He finally shit. sees it. He's got like 180 health. Yeah, <laughs> it's 120 health mil. <laughs> Erlo could have farmed that That's and actually so gotten funny. some value out of it. That's funny. Yeah, somehow. He probably expected that it's no way he could, which is fair enough. Okay, so now. This base is finally bought, which means Arrow can never have it again. Unless the 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 mill gets taken again, it's destroyed. He puts a really far back already. <laughs> there are enough mines on the map too that there's not that much the fox can really do. Like, yeah, I mean he's gonna lose the fox here. Yep, that's what we're waiting for. Beautiful, beautiful stuff right there. Happens to the best of us, huh, Arrow. <laughs> And now all he has is a minefield and a wolf. Ugh, that is just... <laughs> <laughs> <is> so funny. <laughs> Mace goes again. Honestly, he could just run in and take everything out with this many lizards. Maybe. Maybe. I guess against an arty it's tough, but... Again, it doesn't really matter. Like, think... even if he loses it all, who cares? Alright, Airloo taps. Yeah. That was the most <laughs> awful and yet that beautiful so thing I've horrible, ever seen. Man. <laughs> Look at Erlu's army grab. <laughs> the entire game. Like, oh my goodness, that arc. Wow, that's funny. Honestly, Chicken is lucky that there was those three bases for Erlu kind of way off by themselves, so there was no there was no potential yeah, defense there was creep. no creep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. I think that's a pretty good number of replays to cover in a one little stream here. Yeah, I think we're going to have to call it good there. Um, but we have a bunch of Tatanka replays that we want to cover as well, so we're going to do an episode two of this. Absolutely, and if you know, in between now and then, if anyone else has a fancy, they feel like they have some really cool replays to share, send them in. We'll uh, we'll take we'll, we'll review them, yeah, and you know, uh, maybe we'll make a great. semi-regular thing of this. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for co-casting Olive, and uh, I think it was Absolutely. your idea as well. So, good yeah. stuff. Good to talk to you. Yeah. All right. You Goodbye, too. everyone. Peace.